Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments, and I am bringing you another in our series of our visit to Oahu. And this is um, the layouts that are going to go along with our visit to um, the Polynesian Cultural Center and focusing on the island of Fiji. So, um, some really fun things that you can do in that area of the Polynesian Cultural Center. Let's check out what's in my workspace and I'll tell you all more about it. All right, so here is my workspace for today. I have my 12 inch trimmer from Creative Memories and my Creative Memories custom um, border maker system. And we are going to use that for a portion of our layout today. I'm gonna just set it aside for the moment though because we won't be getting to it for a little bit. Um, so this is the other portion of that system. And then we are going to be using the brocade chain punch. This is what it looks like on the back. And um, we're gonna use that to accent our layout today. So we'll get to that in a minute. I've got some um, per permanent and repositionable adhesive, which are gonna go over there until we need them. And then I just have some leaves which we'll probably use as embellishing um, elements when we get that far. These are from vitamin C, the vitamin C um, collection from a while back. Today we're going to um, focus our, our layout on this sketch right here. And this is a two page layout that was designed to go with our May virtual crop sketches. And um, this is sketch number four, if you have, have participated in that crop or are interested in, um, in looking at that or more variations of this uh, layout, you would simply type in the hashtag CM virtual crop four May 2023 for 2023. And you'll be able to find a whole lot more um, examples of this particular sketch. But for today, we are going to use it, um, like I said, to focus on some photos from Fiji. And so that's gonna be really fun. And the papers I have out here today consist of this one that comes from the Serene Waters collection. You'll recognize this pattern on the back if you have that collection and the water bubbles on top. We're also gonna use these two beautiful papers from the vitamin C collection from a couple of years ago. And here I go with my burping again. It must be a nerves thing or something. I don't know, it's so strange. Um, okay, and then I have a piece of black shimmer paper which we are gonna to use to punch our brocade chains and that'll be fun. And I also have these two pieces of paper which are actually a wood, um, a wood grain that come from a completely different uh, collection. And I believe this comes from Deep in the Woods. I will double check that, but I think this comes from Deep in the Woods. So we're gonna use bits and pieces of all of these things in this layout today. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we're gonna cut in just a second here. Let me show you some of the photos that we're going to be showcasing in this layout so that you can get a better idea of what we're doing. So um, a you, if you're following my series at all, then you know that each of these areas within the Polynesian Cultural Center, there is a, a huge banner that talks about all of the beautiful things about each of these islands. And um, so this is the one for Fiji. And um, in the little pamphlet that I cut up that had lots of great information, um, this is our little um, things to do tab that I cut out. And so in here it says discover how coconut oil is made. Um, you can learn to play the Derua. I think I'm saying that right, Derua. Um, you can get a warrior tattoo, which my husband did do, and that was really fun. Um, and then you can learn about um, their outrigger canoe, which is called a, a kamakayu, I think is how they say it. I may be totally saying that wrong. It's been a little bit of, of time since we were there, so I apologize if I'm doing that wrong. Um, this is the 
the outrigger canoe that we're talking about and this is what Disney fashioned the um, boats and the, the water craft that was used in um, uh, Moana the movie Moana that they did. Disney actually came uh, we were told Disney actually came to the Polynesian Cultural Center and studied all the different areas within the Polynesian Cultural Center to create Moana and that's part of the reason why that movie is reminiscent of so many different cultures within the Pacific Islands um, because many of them um, are represented in, at the center and they chose, Disney chose to kind of put a lot of those um, elements that they found in each one of those cultures together uh, to create that movie. And so this is one of the main elements they took from Fiji, which was very cool. Another thing they took from Fiji was, um, well, of course, this is the another example of the canoes. This was, the, this was a model that was next to this life-size uh, canoe. And this is shown in the movie as well when they have the huge, um, the huge watercraft with hundreds of people on them and literally we were told this could hold a full-size one of these could hold over a hundred people so that's a lot of people to get on one little boat out in the middle of the ocean um, and then this is a sample of the paper I think I mentioned in another one of my videos um, how they would take this this tiny little reed of what looks like just a limb on a tree and they would pound it out until it made these very very thin sheets of of paper essentially bark but very very thin and then they would use dye and they would create these beautiful patterns on the paper that you can see here so really really cool things we learned while we were there and then here are some pictures of my husband getting his warrior tattoo which he put around his leg and he's a runner and so we were hassling him because when he went to go when they went to go put this on the reason it's not um the reason that the ink is kind of messed up is because they use a stamp kind of to wrap around whatever limb you ask him to wrap wrap it around and he flexed his muscle while she was doing it and and it didn't form correctly around his leg so um yeah, we hassled him royally about that, that he had to show off, and then he messed, messed up his poor little tattoo, but that's okay. Life goes on. This was our sweet guide for our afternoon. Um, there, her name was Sariana, and she was she is from Fiji, and so she's pointing out her hometown right here on one of the main islands of Fiji. But one of the coolest things I thought about Fiji, as you can see on the map here in this photo, this, these are all of the islands that make up Fiji. That is not just one island. It's, I don't know how many there are, but there's like a whole bunch of islands that make up Fiji. And one of them actually goes, has the, the international date line that goes straight through it and divides the island. You can see this red line right here. And so if you're on this side of the island, it's, it may be Tuesday. And on this side of the island, it's Wednesday kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know how they, I'm sure they have a system, but I don't know how they would kind of work that out. But um, at any rate, just fun, fun things we learned about our world, right? Okay, so we're going to cut a few things and um, we're going to start by cutting these sheets, which are going to be um, the majority of our base. And we're going to just cut about three inches off of these sheets. They are going to be this sheet, this piece right here, and um, I believe, no, actually, this says to cut two and three quarters of an inch off. So three inches, two and three quarters of an inch. You can you can cut whatever whatever makes you happy there. I don't really think it's going to be critical, but we'll go ahead and do two and three quarters and just see if it's if it helps or changes anything, I don't think it will, but at any rate. So these pieces are going to be extra and we're going to set them aside. And then these are the pieces that are going to go down on our two base sheets. So I'm going to set those over here with my photos. 
so they're ready when we are ready. All right, so we are going to, um, um, let's see, we're going to use these papers to mat our photos. As you can see, that we have mats here and here and around each of these smaller photos. So um, that is, that's going to be very cool. But I'm going to wait to cut these mats until, um, until I have my photos um, at hand because I want to be able to do some color balancing and things like that. So first thing we're going to do before we cut mats is go ahead and cut two borders using the brocade chain. And the reason I chose the brocade chain to do this with is because I'm just trying to find the other piece to my border maker system. Here it is. Um, is because I wanted something that was going to kind of have a at least a small resemblance to some of the tattoos that we have seen since that was kind of a feature in that area of um, of the center. I wanted to just kind of feature that a little bit in in my why is this keep getting caught? All right, hold on. Um, I wanted to feature it in my design. So if I can get this out, goodness, that's crazy. Why did that get so stuck? All right, let me get this unstuck, and then we will be right back. Two punches in and it's totally jammed. Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. We're gonna just flip this paper around and do this again. Sometimes um, when you're using a punch, it can get stuck. You just have to kind of try to work with it and keep from tearing it. And then um, maybe we'll, we'll try going towards me this time and see if it does better. There we go. I have noticed that too. Sometimes punches do better if you punch in one direction or another. Um, Sometimes they just get caught otherwise. So let's try that again. That seemed to work more smoothly to pull it. Okay, maybe not. Huh. All right. There we go. Now we're on a roll. Okay. Okay, so I just thought these reminded me a little bit of the um, cool tattoos and since we um, since my husband got that fun tattoo with ink that was totally washable while we were there it was, it was kind of fun to see all of the kids and everybody walking around with tattoos that was fun all right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and mat a couple things. So I know for sure I want to mat this like I have done in my other layouts and this as well. And then I believe I want to mat these two 
smaller photos. And as far as on the other page, I haven't quite decided. So let's just play that by ear. Okay, I'm going to set those up there and that one up there. And I had decided to use these two papers to go ahead and mat this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and mount the photo and then cut the mat around it um, just for this larger one. So we're going to we're going to make this an eighth inch frame all the way around the outer edge. And it's true you can cut your mats however you are comfortable with cutting them. You do not have to mount the photo first and then cut it. If, you're, if you'd rather cut the paper first and then mount your picture, be my guest. Um, it is totally up to you and what you're comfortable doing. Um, some people find it easier to do one way versus the other. Completely up to you. Okay. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and add more adhesive to the back and we're going to mat this again for emphasis and I'm just going to double the width of that frame and make this more of, a, more of a quarter inch frame going around here and I'm hoping that that means that I have four inches to work with Oh yeah, more than four inches, so we're good. Okay. So. Um, just thinking about conserving paper and trying to make sure I've got what I need for other pieces to this design. All right. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that is done. Now we are going to, I'm going to take these two pieces down here, these two photos, and we should do one in green and one in blue, I think. So these photos are cut to three and three quarters square, and so I'm going to make a four inch mat to go around them. So we're just going to make a four inch square right here. Okay, so that's for this photo right here. We'll get some adhesive put on it real quick. There's that one. That's going to go with that. And then this one also is going to need to be four inches square. This is for the Paper, and I don't remember what this is called, but it sure was cool to see and have our guide teach us about that. She was super cute, and we really enjoyed spending time with her and having her share her um, love of her native country because she was from Fiji, as I mentioned before. So Sariana taught us a lot about 
her homeland, and that was really, really fun. Um, she was, or is there, going to school at BYU Hawaii. And if you don't know, uh, the Polynesian Cultural Center is staffed by students who go to school at the at BYU Hawaii, and your um, the money that you spend at the Polynesian Cultural Center is what funds their education. So um, if you have an opportunity to go and visit it, it really is a super worthwhile place to be because you are taught about their, their own cultures and um, and you're helping them out, helping to um, give them an education that they otherwise may not be able to afford. So, um, really cool. All right, so here we've got our Fiji and those photos are all mounted, so we are good to go for that page. And then I think hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount. I think I'm going to go ahead and frame the ones with Sariana in them and, and one other one. So let's see. Oh, that'll be perfect. That should work very nicely. Although, do I want that to be blue or do I want that to be green? I think we'll make it green given that there's so much blue in this photo. Pull the green out a bit. This one in the blue. Just gonna trim this real quick and then and then maybe we'll do this one in blue as well. Blue or green? Sometimes by cutting my mats this way I have a little bit more paper to work with because I'm not just um, cutting um, huge swaths of measurements of paper. So when I have a little more I can kind of play with. So that's kind of fun. All right, so we don't need to mat every single photo and we have a little bit left over that we can use on something else, which is nice. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble these pages and see what um, what kind of embellishing we are gonna wanna do. 
Okay, so I was going to use this blue, and I didn't actually end up using this blue paper, so I guess we'll use that on something else. Sometimes I think beyond the scope of what I actually need, which is okay. Better to be over prepared than under prepared, right? So we're just going to add some adhesive along the edge here and if you are new to my channel I just put about a half an inch of adhesive um, along the edge I don't I don't draw my adhesive all the way down the edge you really don't need that much in fact I probably I probably still put too much um, in what I do put on here but um, but you, for sure you don't need it like all the way along the edge for just for a piece of paper. If you're putting something heavier on, then you might want to consider that. But just for a, a designer sheet of paper like what this is, no need. All right, oops. Let's first go ahead and put our border up the edge of this. So I'm just gonna use some of our repositionable adhesive. I'm going to make sure it's on the very end and then in a few places along the design. And then this is going to go, I'm going to place it so that it is, um, so that the edge is just barely touching because I'm not going to be able to cover up the whole edge with this design and I'm not trying to really. I just want um, to have the decoration of the design. So I'm just putting it right up the right at the edge with the edge slightly underneath what's touching. Okay? Because even if I put it overlapping completely, it would not cover because this design has too many, the design of this punch has too many wide holes in it. Okay, this one is going to go with about an eighth of an inch from the center. And I'm just going to make sure that all this is going to fit. Uh -huh. I think because of the I'm going to put my adhesive on here and we're going to get this put down. But I'm going to put this underneath here. And this is going to go about a quarter of an inch from the edge as well. Not a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, sorry. Eighth of an inch from the edge. And this is going to overlap just the post there, because I'd rather see the boat. Personal preference. I probably could have trimmed this off. These are two photos that I have merged together, um, and to to give a more of a sense of the full size of this this um, boat that they had have built, the outrigger canoe. Um, because it really was gorgeous and fairly large. So, um, maybe we'll put that up there. Because these are going to go down here. Probably like so. And I'm thinking I probably need some place to put journaling, which I really didn't factor in. I didn't think ahead about that. So I may need to make a space for that as well. Let's move these over slightly so you can go ahead and get this second page 
going. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so, oh, look, before I get too far, See, I'm going to forget that little bit of border that we punched again. Almost forgot it the first time, too. Got to get this put on there before we can get crazy and put our pictures where we want them. All right. So, For fun, I'm flipping that around so that it's different than it is on the other page. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put these down and I may need to tuck something in underneath there, but if I do that I won't see the design of um, I'm wondering, I think, I think I'm going to just alter this just slightly so that because if I if I put a journal box here then I'm sorry I'm not speaking in complete sentences today if I put a journal box here I block off all of our nice design and then it's kind of like why did we put that on there we've blocked the whole thing off right so um, to keep from blocking the whole thing off what I could do is go ahead and put these on in a different fashion and then maybe I can slip a journal box in there or we maybe we'll have more room over on this page let's see what what happens as we get these put on and again here is our sample kind of of what we started with Again, often, like often happens, my um, example has has alt been altered or has altered the original vision, but that's okay. You go where your photos take you, so I. Um, Sometimes you need to just adjust things. Okay, so just adding that about an eighth of an inch above and centered over where the actual photo is. not um, lined up with the mat, but lined up with the photo. That's what I did anyway.
know it's straight. Those are all a little bit, a little bit cocky, but that's okay. It'll be all right. Okay, so let's see. I need to put, I need to add some embellishments to this, just a little bit, and we need to find a. journal box so here we go put that down and one second here let me see what I can find So I found these two mats um, in my various embellishments. This one came out of Tropic Time and this one came from um, Tropic Time as well, I believe. Um, and they're not exactly perfect for what I want, but they are going I'm gonna make them work. So I'm just going to cut this one and so that we have just this part and I'm going to I think cut this in half even so that I can add a little journaling box right here and a little journaling box down here so I have two different areas and let's see this is a uh, this is a four inch piece so I can set that to two inches and that should be good. Okay, and then we're going to take some of these leaves and we're going to just accent it with some of these leaves. So we're going to add this guy in. Right here, we're just going to tuck that in right underneath to give us some room. This one we're going to tuck in. Let's see, if I tuck that in there, then I have to go way in in order to allow some of that edge to still show. I think maybe we'll use, we'll tuck it in over here instead. Kind of so like so. Maybe do something similar up here. Then these are kind of big. I don't know if I really feel like we need them, but I mean we could add them probably in the middle here somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to going to do that. I think we're just going to do the leaves on those outer edges 
and we need to make that kind of touch in there. It'd be great if I could put this over here somewhere, but I'm going to block too much of my photo, so I'm not going to do that. We're just going to add these over there near the border and call it good. So just some repositionable adhesive down the main stalk of this spiny creature. Same thing there, same thing there. So when you use these leaves, if you have these leaves in your stash, um, sometimes they don't like to be pushed down flat like I'm doing right now. If yours pop up because they don't like to be pushed down flat because they have a little bit of a mold to them, um, just stick a foam square underneath them. Um, I have found that sometimes there's it's hard to train them to stay flat and stay stuck to your page. Um, so you just work with what you what you can get them to do to cooperate. And a foam square is not going to be the end of the world, right? I actually like them very much, foam squares. leaves. I think we are about done with this layout for today. What do you think? I think I'm happy with that. I've got a couple of spots where I can talk to um, or write down the story that went with these photos and these pages. I might have to write a little bit smaller than I typically do, but it'll be okay. And um, and I like that we were able to fit everything on here that we needed to without it looking too hodgepodge, I think. Um, there are a lot on these two pages, though. So it it's, depends on the look that you prefer when you are scrapbooking. At any rate, I am grateful that you were able to join me today. And I hope that you'll have many more creative moments. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day.